Hello and welcome to BMG Drive. Today I'm going to take a look at the reworked uh, T-Series. What do we have? We have uh, basically a new cab called the, ca the cab over, like this one, the base uh, I'm highlighting. And then we have the standard long nose uh, that we already used to have in the game. For every configuration there are both uh, cab over and long nose, except uh, few exceptions basically but mainly there are both uh, the configurations we have the base version we have the custom version with a bit fancier paint jobs uh, with beefier engines uh, nicer exhausts we have the three axles and i have to say the orange rims and the blue body look very good there there is uh, the cargo box different products for the cabs we have the tasty cola for the long nose and the beam engine drive for the cab over there is the upfit frame the flatbed upfit it's almost the same characteristics between the cab over and the um, uh, long nose so it's mainly an aesthetic thing if, if you choose one or the other except maybe in the cargo box that the beam and g drive uh, with the cab uh, with the cab over has only two axles and the tasty cola with the long nose has three axles but that's a minor difference. There is the dump bed. There are more fancy car rollers. Like this. I don't know why they are this far. Because in the second part of the menu they are more scattered around. But you can find them. There is the tanker version. That I don't think it was there before. So that's a new. I'm going to take a look at it later. Then we have the ramp track. That only comes with the long nose the only difference is that uh, one is only the the tractor and the other has the the dump bed i think they didn't uh, do it with the cab over otherwise uh, the the cars you uh, you you throw with the ramp uh, with, would smack the windshields and that's not what you want and then we have some longer holes like this and like this I'm going to take a look at uh, some of them later. I'm just doing a quick uh, highlighting of the configurations. And then we have some versions, peculiar versions, like this one, the Stretch, the Long Haul Custom, and the T600 Special. If I remember correctly, that there was the Cement Mixer. And I don't see it in this, configura in this uh, update. So I'm a bit sad, I like the cement mixer, uh, I don't know why they didn't do it. And here we have the base versions of the cab over on the left and on the long nose on the right. Basically the, the old version it's just a little bit aesthetically changed, but we, it's a T-series, we all know it. And I'm going to focus a little bit on this. So this is how it looks, it looks comically short if uh, I say so. Look at this, it's funny because the engine the engine is longer than the cab, you can see right here. <laughs> I don't know, but that's funny to me. Uh, why? Why do you do such thing? Do a little bit longer cab? Uh, who knows? So, this, it has pretty beefy exhaust, even the base configuration. We can open the doors on the wrong side and we have a nice blue leather interior. The fuel tanks and all the stuff uh, a truck should have. So, on the inside, let's get on the inside, we have a completely new dash. And it's different from the old T-Series, I'm going to, to show it later. And we have all these dials on these buttons that you can click. For example, this is the, the parking brake. And all the other stuff uh, that probably... You need a truck, uh, not the truck, sorry. You probably need the, the trailer to, to, to use. Oh, that's the ignition. Nice. At the compression brakes, I don't know what this stuff does. But it's nice, to, it's nice to have. So as you can see, all related to the trailer stuff. So this is the new insides. Like this. Some versions have also the radio here or up here nice looking detail and the steering wheel it's loo it's, uh, it's nice it's good let's look at the gauges look at this all this stuff for truck uh, i don't know if probably even on the cars if you have all this stuff but it, it, it looks good it looks good and on the inside of the old version 
we have basically the same gauges and the same buttons, but all on a flat surface. On the other one, you add this triangle in the middle, and in this one, it's all on the dash, on the on the front. Yeah, it's only aesthetic thing. Also, a thing that got added in the last update is the fact that mirror now reflects. It's not just uh, random uh, stuff, but it's what happens uh, actually. It is only available on the on the T series, so, so this is the perfect video to showcase a like, uh, thing like this. And I'm going to show it to you later. But as you can see, especially in the round one to the left, it's perfectly mirroring. And let's just do a little a small drive. As you can see, I, as I'm doing a circle around the other T series, it reflects its perfectly almost perfectly the top mirror it's a bit lower quality but that's cool we never had this probably with mod i don't know and now that's official they're probably going to add it to other vehicles so it may take a while but that's a cool thing and now i've spawned three configurations that i want to take a look at with you the two on the right are the long goal versions both the long nose and the cab over and then we have the, the tanker on the left. And uh, I'll start with the tanker because it's the one I have already selected with the camera. So, as you can see, this is how it looks like on the on the side. I like the, the iron bar on the front. It's a nice uh, big detail, actually not small, big. And the, if I look on the inside, as you can see, it's the same same gauges same buttons it's there is a radio on the top so yes there are two uh, ventilation stuff uh, like this and maybe it's a little bit fancier um, trims on the insides and there isn't a big difference between the base versions and the high hand versions minor changes minor changes as you can see if i open the doors look at the mirror it moves let's do it on the on this side as well ah. the reflection real time reflections that's nice so this was the tanker you can see a one piece let's do the side that they didn't and i think this is probably my most favorite new configuration i don't know why i, I simply like it that's that's cool and now let's head to the long haul versions. Let's start with the cab over and let's take a look at the outside. It's it's profile side mm, looks questionable in my opinion. Uh, I, I think it's too tall for me. But who knows, maybe ah I got the inside of the tank. The, the side profile it's a little bit too big for me. One cool thing still while we are still on the outside is you can open this little door and it's like a cabinet but you can't open this one because this hides the bed so that that you can only go to the bed from the inside let's go inside and as you can see still same gauges same buttons a little bit uh, stickers uh, and radio placement differences but basically it's still the same inside just a little bit different color because the tanker was red and this is a terrible brown if i may say so so and then we look back and then we have two beds okay let me go on free camera so we can maybe see a little bit better ah! a little bit better we have a bed on the up on the triangle bt and a bed on the lower end and as you can see that's the door you can't open from the outside you can close it and you can't enter anymore so you have to go back inside from the door so yeah I, this is a too bad uh, cab i don't really understand why maybe it's a thing in america because i I think I've never saw a double bed uh, cab in Europe. Of course, I've never watched inside every truck, but I think I've never saw that. And basically, if I swap 
to the long nose and let's go on the inside still on the inside the same gauges and same buttons different radio placements but it's still the same compared to the base version still different colors and maybe fabrics and stuff like that but no, nothing more and this is like the other one it has a bed in the triangle bit and then we have a bed lower and still you can open from the inside and you can open from the outside so you can only exit i let you see you can see you can't enter but you can open this little cabinet be below and this is how it looks outside it's pretty big and i have to say the profile at least for me doesn't look mm, meh. it looks meh mm, not good not bad but definitely weird and the last version that i want to take a look at is the stretch it, it probably takes the name because it's long and as you are going to see from this side it's why is this long why 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 do you need a, a, such a long track i don't understand because when you attach the trailer you have like one to two meters empty anyway i don't understand this track <laughs> it, it looks cool it looks cool but it has a little bit of an issue that's maybe only my issue it, and it's the camera placement because Look at this. I'm looking at it from the side, and it's clearly that the center of the camera is right about here, where I'm pointing with the mouse, and it, it looks a little bit weird. And one last thing before I'm going to do the driving test. It's about the T600 configuration. It's special also. I forgot the special. And it's not about the track per se, but about the description, because it says equipped with a big turbo and NOS for jumping into aqueducts. And this is an homage to Terminator 2, when uh, John Connor and Schwarzenegger are running with the motorbike and the truck that's chasing them jumps into the aqueduct, uh, as it says in the description. It's a little nice detail that probably not everyone has noticed i noticed it by mistake randomly because just because i misclicked and i i read it and i said oh cool that that's a nice thing so let's head to the driving test for the driving test i'm using the t-series tanker with the new cab over version because i want to do it you can see turn it on and it also has if i'm correct a little bit different engine sound so, oh i forgot the traffic wait a minute i'm going to spawn the traffic okay traffic is spawned uh, it's only in the parking ah, okay that's there's a car okay let's go so the, it, it's a truck so i'm not expecting it to be the fastest vehicle we have ever had in bmg but even with a, a tank it, it drives a pretty fast it, of course, it's not the base configuration. <laughs> I locked the brakes. It's not the base configuration, so it's understandable that it's not the slowest. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's a truck. I'm doing the test drive with the tanker because I already said that uh, that's my that, my favorite configuration of the of this reworked vehicle. Ah, nah, I can't overtake the ZTK. Come on, let's go, Granny. Okay, now I'm a little bit crazy. yoo A little bit on the wrong way. Oh, it's coming, Allegron. Oh my god, the wall. And I tap the wall. I've done damage. Yeah, a little bit of the steering. It's pulling a little bit to the left. But yeah, it, it likes to lock the brakes. Maybe it's my configuration of commands and controls that's wrong. So I just tap the brakes and don't, and don't uh, block them. But yeah, it's a truck. It drives uh, nice. I'm going to try later uh, a trailer because, of course, this is a one piece and then we need a two piece vehicle. But before I'm going to do the trailer drive, I'm going to squash the Legron in the wall 
Uh, yes! Uh, so I can also take a look at how it looks when it's damaged. Of course, it's on the side. Let me pull it on its wheels. Nice. And let's take a look. The front, the steering, it's completely destroyed. Oh, okay, no. Only one wheel, the other works. And that's the cab. Let's zoom in a little bit. Pretty solid damage. I like the the fact that some glass is still on the on the on the door while the window is broken. It's shattered actually. Look, let, let's look at the damage on the tank. Some bent. I've lost a, a cargo box that's that has to stay here. What? Okay. I thought there was something I could open. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is how it looks damaged. I think it's pretty realistic damage. And le let's see if it drives. Okay, it still puts down power, but I don't think the differential is letting it go away. Probably also that wheel. Let's block the diff. We also have, we only have one. It has a little bit more power, but yeah, I'm going to. Wait, I'm taking up speed. Okay, I can still do damage. Let's see who the lucky victim is going to be. I see a vehicle. I see a vehicle. No, is I thought it was changing la lanes. It's changing lanes. Hello, pessima. Eh. <laughs> Ooh, I did a lot of damage ah, for such a low speed impact. And now I've bitched on... A three. Okay. <laughs> and now, let's do a little bit of driving with the trailer. Okay. I've attached the trailer. And I still don't know why there is such a huge gap between the cab and the trailer. I have no idea. And let's see how is able to pull, like, what, what is this? 25,000 uh, kilos? I don't remember. L l I think about that. So now I'm going to the right and a little bit more careful. Let's go from the inside. Okay, no, no, it's terrible because I can't see anything in the mirror. So, so I have to stay. I think I smashed the covet. Yes. Ah, let's run fast. I'm as wide as the road, but yeah, I think this is not a track. That should be on this road. Let's slow it down. And this is the biggest issue with the truck and the container. The trailer, not the container. Yeah, maybe a container as well. <laughs> it's that with the camera I can't see anything. Because if I use the standard position, which is this, I don't know where my truck is. So I have to stay like that. But if I stay like that... I maybe misjudge some corners. Ah! I tapped the wall. Uh, and I also climbed on the barrier. Ah! Uh, what? What? <laughs> How did I destroy it? Oh my god. That was terrible. That was terrible. Let's see the damage. Wow! Completely destroyed the wheel. Oh, wow. Let's see. Bye bye. Can I still drive? And no. What if I put the differential? No. So, yeah. I've lost the front wheel and I can't drive anymore. Ah. That's unusual. I'm full throttle. And I can't leave. Let, let's detach the trailer. Let's see. No. I can't go anywhere. Maybe because the trailer is stuck. Let's restart the trailer. Let's see. Let's... No, no. I can't remove the parking brake. Wow. Wh why? Game explain, please. Why can't I remove the parking brake? Huh. 
unusual. And as I was loading the, the map to do a little bit of crash testing, I remembered two things. One is this new set of wheels that looks pretty nice. Look at that. That's the rear and that's the front. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And also one thing that it's really cool about these vehicles and is not the AI, let's see, fun stuff and latches. Haha! <laughs> the cab! Of course, why the camera? <sighs> this game sometimes. Look, you can see the engine because the cab also bends forward because it, it opens like this and it, it, it's cool. It's a pretty cool detail. Props to the devs because this is a pretty nice. I love it. It's one of the most cool things about this vehicle and the even cooler thing it's this look at this let's reset the camera and let's drive ha and then you are bent forward and look at this if i close this this uh, the latches oh how cool is that i love it uh, i love it that's awesome now let's go and well okay <laughs> Let's go and use one of my most favorite maps of all time, the Descent. It's maybe 8 or 9 years this map exists, but it's simple yet effective in destroying vehicles. And let's see how it handles. There's some bending. Nice, the cab is leaving. Bye bye. I saw the fuel tank exploding. The, the upfit frame, the upfit bed is still there. I've lost almost all the wheels except for two. I've lost a fuel tank. The cab, the engine is still running though. Nice. <laughs> so, I would say I'd like to take a look at the damage, but I have to find the cab. So let's... Ah, it's there. Holy. Okay, this is a big bigger damage compared to the Utah crash this is more uh, let's say unusual probably that's completely smashed your head would be exploded if it was in the cab I can open the, the door no let's try to open the other one if the camera allows me no, I don't have to because there is no more door so this was a quick look at the rework of the T series. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, bye bye.